All right, so now we're going to talk about uh, some major improvements that we've added to the software. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys will be really happy with these. Uh, let's start with uh, this scene right here where I have got some brand new alignment guides. Now, these are located over here in the camera toolbar. And you've got some vertical ones, some horizontal ones. So all you have to do is really go and select them. And you've got this line over here that you can take, drag around. Uh, and let's say you're doing something like a 360 rotation uh, rig. And you want your eyes to always be aligned to that line that you've got over there. So it can be just as a visual indicator or you can actually snap to these. If you go into the transform tool over here, we've got this little option here, snap to alignment guides, uh, really handy if you just want to uh, remain consistent with the way uh, that your pieces are going to be positioned. Uh, now, another way that you may want to use this is, let's say if you have a run cycle, again, uh, you would take your alignment guides. You can add as many as you want, really. Um, position them on the feet, and then again, either with the snap or without the snap, uh, be able to really kind of move around uh, your characters. Let's say if I had, um, I'll just bring in um, another scene here. All right, so I've got my characters over here, and I would simply position the feet over here, and then I can take my characters, position them how I want, and again, using the snap, we could take this image over here and go and position it right on the line to make sure that it follows. Now we've had in the past some uh, different types of markers that we've been using. We had drawing markers, uh, we have timeline, uh, little markers that we could have as well in here. Um, so now I'll just go back to the scene I had previously over here, you can see that we have a different type of marker over here that gets added to the mix. Now we can add those really easily by right clicking and this new option here called Mark Frame. Um, now you can choose from a variety of colors to really um, set uh, a marker down on any cell that you want, whether it's on a drawing, on a peg, even on an effect, uh, just to kind of mark it as important. You want to really be able to follow that key. Um, so if you move around a frame, this will follow around. You can then mark your keyframes or various other poses that are important to you so that you really get a visual on the timeline as to where those uh, markers are. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a new feature in Harmony 17 that is going to be pretty handy for uh, all the cutout animators over there because let's be honest, sometimes scenes can get a little bit heavy, um, especially when there's a lot of characters involved. So let's have a look over here. Um, in this scene, I've got two characters, two builds that are actually pretty heavy because they are uh, 360 rigs over here and there's a lot of deformers involved. Now, uh, if I wanted to cache these rigs over here, uh, my builds are currently contained inside the groups. I can create a composite over here and uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys a little feature that's going to be a, a bit of a crowd pleaser for everybody. We can actually press down Alt now and insert a composite between the two wires that you've got over here. Now, with this composite, we can actually just go into the layer properties that we've got over here. And we've got this new option over here called the cache, the cache over here. And we'll just click on that. And now you can see above my ports over here, there's now two little uh, blue archways over the ports. Uh, this means that all of the information going through this comp is now uh, cached. So if I go over my character over here, we can see that my cursor is a little bit different. If I click on it, it will select my entire character. And now you can click and go over individual pieces like this um, to go and animate them. But this is really going to make the process a whole lot easier. 
Okay, so we've got a brand new export format in Harmony 17, really easy to access. You can just go to File, Export, and we've got Movie. And over here, we've got MP4 that was added to the mix. So you can really easily just go and create some MP4 files, really high quality, anything that you want, all the settings that you may want to have for your MP4s and get access to your animations like so. Okay, so one more improvement that was added to Harmony 17 is something that you can get access to from your edit menu over here under the preferences. Uh, so in the preferences, maybe some of you were used to seeing the uh, shortcuts list over here. This is now a brand new separate thing that you can get access to from the edit menu as well. Um, but we've got a couple of things over here, notably at the start, preference set basic and if you go and see the drop down you have some preference uh, some preferences templates that you have access to over here so if you're a rigger if you are a paperless animator um, you can choose these different presets um, and this will reorganize all of your preferences that you've got in here so if i'm a rigger i might want to have access to let's say this brand new preference called default pass through composite uh, or even stop motion keyframes and all of those. So these will remain saved into your preferences over here. You can even uh, save those preferences, reload them uh, if you want to edit them to have certain other features. Okay, so we hope that you've enjoyed these upgraded performance and efficiency features um, and thank you for watching. <laughs>